Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Very, very welcome to this uh, webinar regarding store delivery optimization. In this uh, webinar, we will highlight how Walmart, Carrefour, and ShopRite improve their store delivery uh, enormously. And before that, we will also explain a little bit about trends and our vision how to do that. My name is uh, Goos Kant. I'm partner and member of the board at uh, Ortec, and in particular focused on retail and retail solutions. And next to that, I'm also professor in logistic optimization at Tilburg University. First of all, we will focus on the trends because it's a very challenging environment at the moment in retail. And here you see some uh, trends which are currently happening. And this is not only my view, but also from various colleagues in the field, like Mr. Luc Cuneau, where I had an interview with, but also from industry analysts like from IDD and Gartner. Well, first of all, there is a big change in consumer behavior. Think about uh, convenience and way of uh, receiving and delivering. Uh, like home delivery, pick-up points, but also in uh, the e-commerce and omni-channel way of uh, marketing. And consumers are getting more and more demanding to receive this convenience. Next to that, there are also new and other competitors than in the past. Uh, companies like Amazon you would have not thought about uh, 10 years ago. Next to that, uh, there are also competitors who are really uh, focusing on low cost. Companies like uh, Action in the Netherlands, but also Lidl in Germany are growing rapidly and they're really from a low, everyday low cost uh, perspective. And that's uh, attracting. Others are really focusing on service to have a high customer intimacy and deliver as much as possible service. So it's important for a retailer to distinguish where should you be, either a cost oriented or really a service oriented. And finally, the customer not only wants to have uh, low cost, but also wants to have a large assortment to do some exciting cooking during the weekend, to get biological uh, food, to get uh, a big assortment. So that also means that you have to think about <coughs> own brand, homes, house brands, and A brands. Where should you focus on and distinguish on? But all these kind of uh, trends and uh, other things leads to more and more complexity in the supply chain. And if we look how that is going internally in uh, a retailer, then there's much more pressure uh, centrally and from the DC to add all kind of last ad hoc things uh, to make it cost efficient or service, whatever. On the other hand, the store, the receiver, which can be a franchiser, is uh, also increasing in power. And it feels like the transport and logistics is squeezed in the middle. And not only from a cost perspective, but in particular from a service perspective, to get everything in time at the right spot, at the right uh, shop. So that's a crucial element to obtain a lean process as a whole within the retail. And therefore, Gartner states that the industry challenge now in retail is that we are reaching a tipping point where the complexity of supply chains is defeating traditional supply chain tools in the battle to come up with an overall optimized plan. And this will push leading companies to look to invest in planning capabilities and push vendors to put more of this category into their roadmaps. And this is the reason that Ortec has invested a lot in particular in the supply chain and store delivery optimization at retailers. 
And a lot of retailers, transportation and logistics is perceived as a small cost. But it is not. It is the second most important cost factor after the store operations. So that means that it is important to focus on it. And not only from an efficiency perspective, but also from service perspective. And there can be different reasons to focus on transport optimization. Of course, it brings higher filling rates, it gives less kilometers, it gives a focus on sustainability. But also, when you see number four, if you have a right transportation process, it also brings store efficiency that you know when the goods are coming and when which goods are coming and then you can align your process in the store accordingly and if you do kind of family grouping together in the roll container or pallet that also gives efficient uh, way of filling the shelves in the store but also optimization is an enabler for growth if you can service more stores with the same capacity in your DC and with the transportation, then there's a big added value in enabling the growth. So there can be different reasons. But how, how can you improve the store delivery optimization? And our vision is the following. First of all, on a technical level, you should create delivery schedules periodically for every low season, high season, promotional season, you should optimize your schedule. And also you should try to balance your workload over the year, over the week, within a day. And as an example, here on the left hand side you see typically the pattern of the amount of volumes going to the store because there's a higher consumption during the weekend. However, not everything needs to be delivered just before the weekend. If you think about promotional material or slow moving goods, they typically can be delivered earlier in the week. And if your promotion starts on Wednesday or Thursday instead of Monday, that also helps to flatten your workload. And this not only holds for a week, but also for a day and for the periods over the weeks. So the next step is to create a delivery schedule, taking those balanced workloads into account, but also territories that you try to cluster stores in the same area to be delivered at the same day but also that time slots are connected that on a busy day you have for example two stores in the route but on a quiet day three or four stores in the route without changing the time slots at the stores so at a technical level you should create different delivery schedules for different periods and you store those schedules in templates, which are input for the operational planning and execution. There you get the daily volumes, you create the plan, you forward them to the carriers and the fleet, and there you have the real-time feedback on what is going on. And that feedback is again direct returned to the WMS. So the operational planning and execution becomes the heart of the daily business. Another one is that typically you want to have a flat workload over the day, like what you see here in the top picture. On the other hand, a lot of trucks should depart in the morning because stores like to be visited in the early morning, that all the fresh goods are there when the store opens. So ideally you want to decouple the picking process from the loading process. 
because otherwise you need a lot of uh, docks, you need a lot of dock space, uh, which is expensive, and a lot of uh, people to do all those processes. And nowadays, a sorting or sequencing buffer is the way to decouple the picking process from the loading process. It reduces the amount of workforce because the docks are very close to this buffer. It reduces the space in the DC by over 70%. But by this decoupling, the route creation can be done much later and is totally independent of the picking process. So this gives a much simpler and easier process in the distribution center. Another element is to optimize not only the load, but also the trailer and also the pallet or roll container. And here you see the process to first to create the delivery orders and to combine orders on a pallet, taking the family grouping into account, create the routes, then check how to load the trailers, giving axle weight conditions, given maybe flexible compartments with, with temperatures, to stack pallets if possible, then to assign a truck and a driver and to start the dispatch. And in that signing of the truck and the driver, you can do it from a more central way, so that you view it from over different DCs, and that you do backhauling, and that you do as much as high utilization of the trailers and the trucks in this central way. And the last element for optimization the delivery is in the so-called transportation control tower to deliver end-to-end -end visibility real-time to all your stakeholders, like the suppliers, like the distribution centers, but also to the shops and to the carriers using mobile apps or web portals to deliver the right information. And if something happens during the day, then you should recalculate the estimated time of arrival, but also maybe you want to change the next route for a truck, given all kinds of uh, delays, what has, happened, what has happened in the morning. So it gives enormous insight for all the stakeholders, but also efficiency by this real-time optimization, which is applied continuously. How did these leading companies improve their store delivery? I will mention the three cases. First of all, Walmart. Walmart is, of course, huge. They are the largest retailer in the world. And here you see some figures. And their process for the grocery freight is they first make a pick plan for the building in what order to pick up to save the miles inside the DC, then to create the routes, how to put the stops to the stores together to save miles in transit, and then they do the load building. And what we have done at Ortec, at Walmart, is to combine this routing and load building in one integrated solution for them. That's, of course, an enormous benefit. You see here that example of three stores in two temperature zones. A blue store, a green store, and a gray store with different temperatures in the right sequence with a flexible compartment using the axle weight and other conditions. So when you check that everything, that is great for the ease of use, and it gives an optimized total solution. But they've installed it centrally over all their 43 DCs in US. So then there's a much better way of sharing best practices. And it gives uh, a good solution and an interface to help the understand the load construction. 
that helped their organization tremendously. Of course, in a much better efficiency in the empty miles of the trucks. So, a huge reduction, which you see at the bottom. Fewer miles, more cases, and also from a sustainability perspective. But also, when it optimizes how the merchandise is stacked in the trailers, it also helps the store for their replenishment process. Walmart is so proud about this solution that they have presented this solution also in earlier webinars. They really like this. It's really great what they think. And it's very unusual that Walmart does webinars around this solution. The second one I like to explain is around Carrefour, the largest retailer in Europe. And they are implementing the Ortex solution in various countries. Of course, in France, but also Poland, Italy, Greece, and others. In this, I like to highlight what they have been done in Poland. In Poland, they have implemented this uh, control tower for a centralized optimization over all their distribution centers, but also including uh, backhauling. In this central solution, supported by the Ortec routing and dispatch solution, the information is shared among all stakeholders by PDAs and by web portals. That gives a streamlined process between central and the local stores and the carriers in between. By that, also the store service levels increased because everything was known and visible in advance, that you know what is coming to me in the next couple of hours or days. And of course, uh, it is an efficiency improvement by decreasing the amount of trips and the amount of kilometers per trips. You see here figures of what they have achieved. And at the bottom, you see decreased operational cost savings up to 7%. But also by this centralized approach, one team of planners sharing the best practices instead of two. So a lot of benefits at all angles. A last example I like to show is ShopRite. ShopRite is the largest retailer in Africa, supporting over 16 countries, over 1,200 stores, and in South Africa, their supply chain was not meeting the own standards of receiving our stores. So they really want to make a process improvement. And important requirements were that they want to guide the distribution center in their actions, also to see the fleet as a whole from a central perspective and not per DC, and also to give realistic expectations of the work that needs to be done. So in that way that the actuals are very close to the planned information, that it is realistic tasks which are done. And the benefits of the implementation were, at the top you see all kind of process improvements. For example, all departments follow the same plan. And that this is a realistic plan, and then it creates a roving stick stage, stick stage plan. But on the bottom also, a lot of efficiency improvements. ShopRite is strongly increasing. In a period of two years, the volume went up 22%, but at the same time, the amount of kilometers by using the new solution went down by 1%. The reason for moving towards new way of optimizing the store delivery can be different. And here you see three different cases which I have presented, three different retailers. But the solution at the end of the routing 
the routing and load building or the routing and control tower saved a lot in mileage and cost and delivering more volume and having a higher service. The starting point was different. For some it was focused on efficiency. For some it was focusing on store efficiency. Or like at ShopRite, an enabler for growth. But for all, the same solution gave the expected benefits. If you like to read more and learn more about this, take contact with us or discover more via our website where all kind of related documents are available. For example, the webinar from Walmart where they explained how they implemented the integrated load design and routing solution. Thank you all for your attention and have a nice day.